Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NFT Art, your favorite NFT YouTube channel where we're going to discuss, find and analyze wonderful uh, art in the NFT sector. And I'm really excited about today's episode as I think we have a great piece to discuss. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I'm telling you all the times that I'm excited to talk about a specific about this particular piece, but um, it's actually the truth. I'm, I'm really excited talking about these pieces. And when I find a really nice piece where I see some in-depth Ah, that, that, that's 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 like that's like an interactive movie, right? So today's art is made by Healing Visions, made by Healing Visions, our artist Healing Visions. Well, sadly, I don't have so much information on the artist uh, in itself. I tried to reach out and to get a little bit more information, but that didn't work, which of course is my fault because I did it last second. <laughs> so bear with me. But the art is speaking for itself, and what we're going to discuss today is the uh, piece ASP or S, which already gives you a lot of value on the first impression and even a greater value on the second, more in-depth look. And of course, if this video is giving you some value in entertainment or knowledge as well, then please give value back by subscribing, liking or sharing this entertaining video, I hope. <laughs> so back to the artist, however, we're going to start with the artist. So uh, Twitter, he's quite active. He or she is quite active, although I have a suspicion it's a he. Um, but there's just something I'm 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 making up. He's also um, being followed by Kat Woodman uh, and Richard Powazinski. And especially Kate Woodman, we had already one of her pieces in our previous uh, videos. So there seems to be some interconnectivity. Uh, artists are sticking together. Has a very nice and active Twitter account. A very nice uh, setup. Showtime. A good Instagram as well with some of the art pieces he's producing in itself. He says that he's a big fan of the female form, the female body. And what I really liked about um, this kind of uh, setup is that also he has access to virtual galleries where his artwork is being presented. Uh, if you want to experience this art, this is, I think, the, the best way to experience NFT art. Uh, if it's his private collection or if it's his private, uh, the things he did, uh, the art himself he did. And we have another one, which is this one. Different hall kind of style. I'm a little bit disappointed that the artwork is not higher higher quality. I think that would be great. This one is, by the way, a really nice piece. Um, however, I think the one we're discussing today, the ASP, has a little bit more in-depth. Visually very appealing uh, art. And uh, it's great that we're getting the opportunity to... Um, yeah, to discuss, to not only discuss, but also experience artwork in in a 3D environment. Of course, here you can just have the overview. Coming back to S, what I really like about the art piece is on the first look, of course, you have the, the beautiful uh, woman with a, with a full lips, uh, which is, of course, a good eye catcher for <laughs> uh, any 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 kind of person, I hope. And uh, so there's a, the first impression you have, there's, a, there's, there's some kind of beauty there. There's, there's the art itself is appealing to your to your inner inner desire for beauty uh, it's not completely uh, entirely realistic the brushes or the contours are a little bit more vague which i think uh, speaks and helps the art uh, come to life a little bit and then on the second look you start actually investigating the art uh, a little bit close and a little bit more intensive on first look you see of course the already the the big tattoo and the snake is, of course, dominating her exposed neck and jumps into your vision uh, instantly. Now, what I really like about this is, of course, the deeper meaning, the potentially d d deeper meaning uh, of the snake, having a snake in, in this picture, while the uh, surroundings is more... Um, vague and I would say behind a blurry filter the snake seems to is a little bit more straightforward painted not so blurry and this you let her pop out of the of the of the of the picture in itself the artist described the snakes uh, or snakes in general that they represent the creative life force they are symbols of rebirth transformation immortality and healing but of course uh, for me uh, snakes are always and i think this is maybe also because this meme is currently circulating the internet again a little bit going back to garden eden garden garden eden nice garden eden yeah garden eden with eve uh, who uh, is like okay you have only one rule but then she has always the apple in her mouth because <laughs> she's doing what she needs to do and the fact that it's on on the neck and the fact that she's a woman so she doesn't have the adam apple it's kind of like it's, it's a really nice nice conjunction this and it, it it could be actually 
like uh, hinting a little bit on on this on this storyline of when uh, the first people were in Garden Eden before they got kicked out because they were uh, tempted with temptation or however you want to describe it. But it, it's really great fitting into this picture. You have the beauty and exposed uh, the beauty of, of this of this character in this picture with her very full lips, which of course uh, full lips are a synonym of um, well. Um, danger sin sinfulness a little bit i say a little bit as well and then you have the snake uh, playing in it you have the neck which is exposed an exposed neck is a sign of nudity and uh yeah aff affectionate nudity and uh the fact that everything is a little bit more blurry but the snake is not makes a snake pop out of the picture so a very nice combination of different elements the far palette speaks into it very well it, it sets just the right uh, accents in this in this picture where you are the first look you maybe see the snake or the first look maybe you see the beauty of the character maybe uh, the second look gives you more content the lips are way more more dominant than expected in the very beginning and on top of everything you have this animation of a film game because it's not only a picture it's an animation uh, with those, anim those animation which you have on top which um, symbolizes and, 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 and shows a little bit this old school movie types when you were doing Where those little burns appear on the on the film um, because it's an old technology, and of course uh, back in the Garden Eden they you don't have this kind of technology <laughs> that you have burned uh, films, uh, but uh, this indication of, of of this kind of setup shows that it's meant to be something which is older, something which is in the past, which of course fits into into this narrative which I just created with the snake, a Garden Eden, Eve and Adam and of course being expelled from Garden Eden because ah, the snake and the apple. There it is. Hope you guys enjoy. Till next time.